Following the mass shooting here in Las Vegas Sunday night, the Billy Graham Rapid Response Team uh, had chaplains here on the ground on Monday. And as we continue to minister in these last few days here at the Mandalay Hotel area, as well as the memorial sites at the hospital, uh, we are talking to people who are just so open for prayer and uh, looking for hope. And so I ask that you would pray for the city of Las Vegas, the residents, uh, those families who have lost loved ones, those still in the hospital that are struggling, and, uh, and just pray for this city. The needs are great, but we thank the Lord because of your support and prayers that we can have chaplains here on the ground ministering at a time like this. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I'm in Japan's fourth largest city, Sapporo. We're in Tbilisi, Georgia. We've been invited to come and preach the gospel in Warsaw, Poland. From the Far East to Eastern Europe, human hearts are in need of the truth. There's a high suicide rate here in Japan. We need Christ, we need hope, and we need the knowledge of the Bible. But where the need is great, so are the challenges. The media has said you have very powerful and strong forces working against you. The moment you make your decision for Christ, the world, the flesh, and the devil declare war on you. Well, guess what? We've got a very strong and powerful God that's working for us. Reaching very different nations with one very powerful message. There is a God, and He loves you. Coming up next. Japanese society may be one of the most difficult societies anywhere in the world to penetrate. But you see, Jesus gave to all of us the command to make disciples of all nations, all nations, that's Japan. We're here in Japan to preach the gospel, and I believe that there's power in the gospel. And who knows, there may be a young man or woman who will come to faith in Christ this week, whom God may raise to reach Japan in a mighty way. I was just a kid, but already I had the thought of jumping off a tall building and killing myself. My parents divorced when I was 10, which broke up my family, and we went our separate ways. It was one of the most painful experiences of my childhood. I still remember the pain I felt. In high school, I was a rebel, just partying and playing the thug. My thinking at the time was that, as long as I don't get arrested, it's cool. Looking back now, when I think about what was tormenting me the most, the answer is simple. It was the guilt over the sins I knew I was committing. And I knew I had turned my back on God. I was just a sinner without hope. Jesus loves us just as we are, no matter how hopeless we think we are. Jesus died on the cross for a sinner like me. I'm the one who should have died for what I've done, not him. Once I accepted the reality of his sacrifice, I just cried and cried. I decided to dedicate the rest of my life to Jesus. I want to tell people who don't know God's love that he truly loves them very much.
First of all, I want you to know tonight that God loves you. But our sins separate us from God. The Bible tells us that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believed in Him should not perish but should have everlasting life. If you come to Christ, you've got to be willing to turn your back on your sins. You've got to be willing to repent and tell God that you're sorry. You see, God is patient with you. He's not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come in repentance. Are you sure your sins are forgiven? If you're not confident, I want you to get up out of your seat right now. I love Jesus very much. And I love telling people who don't know Him yet about the wonderful love of God. This has been a great opportunity for me. What stood out to me was that Jesus hung on the cross for us. The message of God's love will stay in my heart. It left a powerful impression. I came forward to ask God to forgive my sins. What resonated with me the most is that God truly loves Japan. I came forward in front of God and in front of everyone to confess my sins and to surrender my all to God. The celebration has me fired up. I feel blessed to see so many people being saved and I'm just filled with hope. I remember standing on stage and giving the invitation to see Japanese people confessing their sins, repenting of their sins, and by faith believing on the name of Jesus Christ. That never gets old, and you realize this is the work of the Holy Spirit of God. It's not Franklin Graham. It's just God uses His Word, and there's power in His Word. There's power in the Gospel. You know, we're going to keep taking the Gospel, we're going to keep preaching the Gospel, and we're going to go to many countries, as many cities as we possibly can. And I just thank you for each and every one that stands with us, prays for us, supports us, because we couldn't do it without you. Thank you, and God bless you. Experience the joy of sharing Jesus Christ with people around the world. Your gift will help make these free evangelistic events possible. Visit billygram.tv or call 877-567-8989. As a thank you for your support, we'll send you the brand new DVD from Franklin Graham, Flying Blind, a powerful tool that gives a strong call for repentance and restoration. Partner with us and get your own copy to watch with your family and church group. Call now or go to billygram.tv. Coming up, fire and protesters threaten a Franklin Graham Festival in the country of Georgia. And uh, we've tried to look for other venues, but they're just not available. A crisis unfolds just days before the event. And later, a country known for suffering searches for answers. We need Christ, we need hope. God loves you. It's all coming up next. It was on Sunday mornings, really, that I felt most alive. I love church. We were in ministry. I was a Jesus girl. We were rock solid. I called myself a Christian. But it wasn't entirely what it looked like. I told myself that it wasn't all that bad. I thought I was fine. Boy, was I wrong. Many Christians are in a spiritual fog, but they don't know it. Even though I saw the warning signals, I just ignored them because I knew what I wanted. I was a cheater. I was a liar. I didn't know what to say to God. Mayday, mayday, mayday! God's warning you. You need to take sin seriously. I thought I was the last Christian that would make this mistake. Jesus Christ died for the world.
whatever country, whatever the color of your skin, whatever language you speak, Jesus Christ died for your sins. It's Jesus. about the incident that took place at the sports arena. Of course, we're, we're disappointed in that. Uh, th this is the first time that we've come to a country where um, the, the venue was not available after it was promised. And uh, we've tried to look for other uh, venues, but uh, they're just not available. The event, is this a religious event? Um, the part of Orthodox spiritual readers are not happy with that. And like, what's the message you're going to send to Georgian public like during this event? Oh, I don't think there's a person alive that doesn't wake up and look at the sun and in the, in the evening go out and look at the stars and ask themselves, is there a God? And if there is a God, does he know who I am? Does he care about my life? And so, we're here just to preach a simple message about God's love for the Georgian people. The media has said you have very powerful and strong forces working against you. Every place we went, uh, looking for another venue, plazas, parks, other stadiums, every place we went, they said no. I believe we probably have more opposition here in this part of the world than any place we've ever been before. We must be doing something right, otherwise there wouldn't be opposition. So that to me just confirms that we're doing the right thing, we're on the right road, and that God is with us. God for a great night tonight. Uh, it's not exactly what we had planned. And it looks like half the police force of Tbilisi is outside. Even some protests. God uses these things to further his there will be a harvest of souls tonight. Чтобы сегодня жертва душ бессмертной плавили Good evening. Sagamom Shudobis. I want to thank the churches that invited us to come to preach. We just have a heart full of gratitude. Some 
Some of you here tonight aren't sure where your soul is going to spend eternity. Is there an emptiness in your life? Is your life upside down? I can tell you that you can come to Jesus tonight. He'll give you a new heart and a new spirit. If you're willing to confess your sins to God, to tell him you're sorry and that you believe that Jesus Christ is his son and you want to invite him into your heart and to your life, I want you to stand where you are right now. God loves you. Jesus Christ took your sins to the cross. You have a new life, a new beginning. Jesus told his disciples to go into the world, to make disciples in all nations, and that's exactly our marching orders, and that's what we're to do, even if we have opposition. Here at the Billy Graham Evangelist Association, we're going to use every avenue, every opportunity we can to tell others about God's Son. Partner with the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association through your prayers and financial support. Call 877-567-8989 or go to billygram.tv. Join with us in taking the gospel around the world. Get involved today. What might appear as small or what could be deemed as insignificant can be merged and combined and unified into something more, something much greater. Just one prayer, one offering, one volunteer, through faith will multiply and transform more hearts and lives for Christ. At Franklin Graham Festivals and Will Graham Celebrations, people hear God's call and are challenged to respond in faith. Through the My Hope program, millions are being deeply impacted for the gospel through TV, DVDs, and the internet. Visitors to the Billy Graham Library experience an ongoing crusade through Billy's life and ministry. And PeaceWithGod.net connects more people than ever before to Christ sharing the gospel online with millions. The gospel of Jesus Christ being spread life by life, soul by soul, and grain by grain is what the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association has always been about. We're proclaiming Christ so the entire world can know Jesus. Always good news. There are few countries of the world that are related to the cross as Poland. No country suffered more in World War II than you did. In 1978, my father came to Poland. Of course, this was uh, during the time of the Cold War. Uh, Communism was in this country, and he was invited uh, to come and to speak. And then as a result of preaching the gospel, Many thousands of Polish people put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. We have been invited by about 300 churches to come and to preach the gospel this week right here in Warsaw, Poland. And I'm excited uh, to be here, to be a part of it. All the churches are cooperating and working together, and I believe we're going to see answered prayer. O tym, żeby Polska wreszcie się stała naprawdę zbawiona, żeby było przebudzenie w Polsce. No, cały czas liczymy, liczyliśmy, że, że będzie wspaniałe Boże działanie i, i tak się też modliliśmy. We are a Christian country, but still is something missing. 
We need Christ, we need hope, and we need the knowledge of the Bible. And this is why I have so many hopes for Franklin, that many people will come to the truth and they will start to trust Jesus Christ. Dlatego, że festiwal jest tylko narzędziem trafienia Ewangelii do ludzi. Jesteśmy na stadionie Pepsi Arena i w dniu dzisiejszym odbył się pierwszy dzień Festiwalu Nadziei w Warszawie. We really hope that something new, new hope will come. And I wait tonight for the preaching of Franklin Graham. I pray for many young people who come to the event. I believe that Christ will be glorified. There's nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Is there an emptiness in your life tonight? A być może i ty odczuwasz pustkę w swoim życiu. Maybe you have come tonight, you're searching and you're looking for purpose to your life, you want hope, remember this one thing, God loves you. God wants your sins to be forgiven, but there is only one way that your sins can be forgiven, and that is through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Tonight, God will forgive your sins. He'll heal your heart. You can leave this stadium forgiven. He'll give you a new life and a new beginning, but you've got to be willing to accept it by faith. I'm going to invite you to confess your sins to God, to ask for His forgiveness, and by faith to receive Jesus Christ into your heart and into your life. Get up out of your seat and come and stand in front of the platform. Ja się bardzo przed tym w duchu modliłam, a potem się popłakałam z radości, jak ich wszystkich zobaczyłam. I wczoraj, i dzisiaj, że taki tłum. Bardzo się cieszyłam. Było to Boże poruszenie. Jest, jest cały czas. Jest to Boży czas. Wielu ludzi przychodzi do Boga, wyznaje swoje grzechy, powierza Mu swoje życie. Dear God, drogi Boże, I am a sinner. Jestem grzesznikiem. I'm sorry for my sins. Żałuję z powodu moich grzechów. Forgive me. On podszedł pod scenę i y, leciały mu łzy z oczu i nic nie mówił. Więc zapytałem go, czy chciałby się modlić, czy chciałby rozmawiać. On był bardzo poruszony i modlił się, oddając życie Jezusowi i wyznając swoje grzechy. My powinniśmy naszym dzieciom, przyszłym pokoleniom przekazać świat bardziej zasobnych wartości kulturalnej i materialnych. Nie wolno nam przekazać dzieciom świata zniszczonego. O to trzeba walczyć i właśnie pójść drogą Jezusa. I was down front and I saw a little girl crying and because I've been through all the classes, I went up to her and I took her through the counseling process and then I prayed with her. Ale dzisiaj było to tak piękne, nie? Ci ludzie tak pięknie śpiewali. I, I zapraszano tak pięknie. Więc się odważyłam w końcu. Kiedy wyszła drugi raz, to poczuła lekkość i uwolnienie. Teraz już wiem, że mnie Bóg kocha i że moje życie po tego momentu już na pewno nie będę taki, jak było wcześniej, że wszystko smutki, problemy, niepowodzenia, to już zabrane z mojego życia. Right now we are just wrapping up our time in Warsaw, Poland. We have seen an outpouring of the Holy Spirit each night. We've seen many people put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. So I want to thank you for your prayers, for your support. We could not do this without you. So thank you for being our partners and standing with us. God bless you and thank you.
Join us as we take the gospel around the world. Make a difference today through your prayers and financial support. Visit BillyGraham.tv or call 877-567-8989. As a special thank you, we'll send you the brand new DVD from Franklin Graham, Flying Blind. Don't miss this powerful film and the opportunity to share it with your family and friends. Call or log on today to get involved. It was on Sunday mornings, really, that I felt most alive. I love church. We were in ministry. I was a Jesus girl. We were rock solid. I called myself a Christian. But it wasn't entirely what it looked like. I told myself that it wasn't all that bad. I thought I was fine. Boy, was I wrong. Many Christians are in a spiritual fog, but they don't know it. Even though I saw the warning signals, I just ignored them because I knew what I wanted. I was a cheater. I was a liar. I didn't know what to say to God. Mayday, mayday, mayday! God's warning you. You need to take sin seriously. I thought I was the last Christian that would make this mistake. This is a love story, written and planned for an eternal glory. From the beginning of time, you were on my mind, and I knew one day that I would be yours, and you would be mine. You see, I chose you from the foundations of the earth. I chose you from the very day of your birth. While you were in sin, I counted your worth. I chose to give myself up just to cover your hurt. Soon I will come and I will settle the score. Will you be ready? Will you be pure? Hear that I'm knocking, I stand at the door. Death cannot hold you, my blood is made sure. And this is my story of love as it pours to the lost and the broken, the mocked and the scorned. A story of love healing those who weep and who mourn. A story of love like a powerful horn, sounding the trumpet, the veil has been torn. Shout out with power, the sound of the reborn. Through the streets and the fields, the cities and hills, my powerful love is a power so real, giving sight to the blind, turning water to wine. These works you will do and even greater than I But now is the time for you to arise Come to me, my beauty, I'll make your light shine Come to me, my beauty, that you might be free Will you come to the king of all kings? Will you come to me? This is my story of love for you This is the good news